Hello traders, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can analyze the market and predict the next candlestick. So let's start. This is zero USD. The major trend is downtrend. The minor trend also is downtrend. This is looking like a money star pattern after a minor downtrend. So they send the market want to reverse. But we have to look for anywhere there can be retracement. Okay, in Marbozu at the 61.8 levels, I'm going to place lower option. I place lower option here because if you observe here that we have a level here. We have a level here and also at the 61.8 level there was a rejection now this can be close at the level so we should expect sellers entry on the next count though it crossed the 50th level but this is a margozo candle so we should expect sellers entry on the next candle now we see the buyers rejected the sellers here That means if this rejection is strong, this is a continuation sign. So I'm going to place okay, no strong rejection. I'm going to place lower option. So I place lower option because no strong rejection. The candle close at the low. So we should expect sellers entry on the next candle. That's why I place lower option. But my entry was late. See down trend. Put the place call option. I place call option here because the buyers, the sellers couldn't close this level. So the trend was down, but the sellers cannot reach this level. The sellers cannot reach this lowest point here. This is also a reversal candlestick. It flows at the low. So we should expect buyers entry on the next candle. That's why like this call option. Now the buyers enter. We know from this level so many reversals in this area. So many reversal. I'm going to place lower option. I place lower option because the trend is down. And this area, I can see rejection from sellers. So we should expect sellers entry on the next candle. The buyers will reach up and reach touch this level. Then before it reverse. I think because of this level. Okay, because of this level. So sellers will enter from there. Why the sellers become weak instead of strong sellers entry? Why the sellers become weak? Okay, no problem. Okay. 
this is all correct the first the first move connected to second move now the sellers are entering the market and this is also a downtrend this is also a downtrend it crossed this level ok there was a rejection now at this level because this level is not strong it crossed the level I'm going to place lower option I place lower option because it crossed the level so the level is not strong the level is not a strong level but sellers cross the level so we should expect sellers entry on the next candle that's why I place lower option ok and this will be my last trade so this will be my last trade I will stop to trading for today so I am taking 5 trades Taking five successful trades, okay, with candlestick psychology alone, because that's the only thing that you need to beat binary option trading. It's a binary trader. So I took five trades with candlestick psychology. The first trade I took here was because of this level. Then I draw the Fibonacci line connected from the highest to the lowest point and now this is 1.8 level I'm seeing some rejections rejections so it means that the market is rejecting the highs and again at the closing price I'm seeing that there's a level here this candle was in between the 61.8 level and the closing price though it crossed the 50 level so we should expect sellers entry it is also a reversal candlestick and the trend also is down trend so that's why this lower option here. And here, I place lower option again because I was expecting that this candle will be rejected at the 50th level. Then buyers will continue. So this candle will serve as a continuation. But I notice that the candle close at the low, close below 50th level. That means if I should draw it in another way, it will be below the 50th level or below 38.2 level so that means sellers are not active now at this time to go down because of this downtrend that's why I place lower option okay so I was expecting that it should close above this line even at the 50th level but it close below close at the low so I place call option here because of this bias here and the bias, the sellers couldn't break this level, they didn't break the low. So it means the sellers are weak, they cannot break the low, the sellers are weak, though you are seeing a strong candle but the sellers are weak, they cannot break the low. What if the sellers break this low? That means I will continuously go with sellers all the time. But this is a reversal candlestick and the sellers are weak, they stopped here, they didn't reach the level, so bias will enter from there because of this strong rejection from that level I place lower option here because of this level because of this level and there's a rejection from sellers and the trend also is downtrend so you should expect sellers entry I place lower option because the trend is downtrend why I say the bias this level is not strong because I'm seeing two bullish candles here but later I'm seeing one candle so it means this trend the level is not strong so sellers broke the level that's why the sellers broke the level when the sellers broke the level very strongly no strong rejection so sellers will still enter the game on the next candle that's why I place lower option in the direction of the trend okay so finally I took five trades with candlestick psychology so this is how you can place a trade just take one shot and understand the market movement and leave the rest so if you like my video like share and subscribe Thank you.